uh, about corporate profile about uh, Donix Technologies Private Limited. So, uh, founded in 1996, uh, we are authorized reseller of Solid Box since 1999. Uh, we have headquarters in Koregaon, Mumbai, branch office in Tane. So, apart from Solid Box, we have some other uh, business alliances like Divide by Zero, that is 3D printing, uh, Synco, that is uh, automation solution for CNC, BMC, or soft floor uh, 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 manufacturing uh, unit. Uh, and vision take uh, again it is metal 3d printing and auto grip that is industrial building or industrial building solution uh, uh hardware plus software uh, solution that we have so <coughs> who we are and what we do so just a uh, brief about uh, adonix technologies private limited So we have very long, uh, long term relationship uh, with uh, Dassault system. So uh, DS, that is Dassault system, uh, Solidbox Corporation India. Uh, 22 years of partnership that we have completed. That is, uh, it is very good milestone we have completed and it's still going strength to strength day by day. So this is Solidbox uh, ecosystem uh, that you can see the number itself. It is saying all the uh, credit about Solidbox or creditability or like uh, uh, market share. So you can see uh, 5.6 million solid box users uh, and 4.2 certified user. So uh, we know that we have two types of user. One is the certified user who has done uh, uh, certification that is CSWP mainly solid box certified uh, professional. And uh, many of uh, who are using uh, solid box, they are expert, but uh, maybe some other reason they couldn't uh, appear for exam or uh, certification things but uh, a lot of users are there so that's why we have uh, uh, shown over here so that is certified users that number they have counted or uh, this whole systems uh, website so these things we can see uh, we have millions of uh, uh, draft site user my solid box uh, uh, members a uh, uh, lot of companies are using 3dcc members 3dcc basically 3d content central uh, that is all the 3d uh, standard parts you can find out over there by using your uh, existing credential mysolidbox.com uh, credential you can use the uh, same for a uh, 3dcc and you can download millions of standard components are there uh, directly in solidbox uh, file format <clears throat> Uh, uh, more than 33,000 uh, academic institutes who are uh, using Solidbox platform, uh, complete solution. Hello. Hello. I'm audible. Hello. Oh, okay. Actually, I got some uh, error. Okay. So this this number you can see over there more than eight hundred fab labs. Uh, uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, some some other song is coming. Okay. Okay, sorry. So uh, we are serving into industries worldwide and uh, all the industry vertically you can see over here, aerospace, automotive for engineering services, alternative engineering, manufacturing or uh, uh, process and plant, consumer products, industrial equipment, life science and medical construction, high tech electronics. So uh, each and every industry vertical uh, you are seeing over here. So we are serving over there. So uh, each and every uh, 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 industry vertical who are using solid box. It is not one specific industry or vertical. This solid box uh, is being utilized. So you can see this uh, engineering uh, uh, verticals or industries. <clears throat> so, so just it's a little uh, about uh, uh, 
uh, pharmaceutical packaging growth of forecast in India. So this this uh, uh, trend you can see. So like uh, what is the like uh, forecast? Then how it is going to be uh, like uh, increase day by day or growth perspective? Those things you can see this state of the industry. So that 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 is the trend uh, we have captured and we are showing this this number oh, so customer reference in uh, pharma uh, in our customer database you can see these are the uh, companies who are using solidbox we have implemented over there Okay. So I'm not going to read an uh, individual name. You, you can see these numbers or these names. So this is a specific uh, pharma uh, uh, customer references, uh, whatever we have presented in this space. Uh, we have more than seven to 800 customer list, uh, Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, uh, and uh, Thane. These are the regions we are handling. So we have around 700 uh, plus customer. In different different verticals, <clears throat> but uh, th this is just specific of pharma a company where we have implemented solid box solution. Okay, so this is just a brief introduction about packaging. Uh, packaging, we know that uh, that is the art and technology of uh, enclosing or protecting your product. Uh, for distribution, storage, or sell, and or, or any uses. So, packages, uh, packaging also refers to the process of design, evaluation, and uh, uh, production of the packages. So, uh, what is uh, what is importance of uh, packaging? So, we all know uh, we get uh, delivery uh, either we purchase from Amazon or uh, any any other uh, shopping uh, website we purchase. So, we know that uh, how important this uh, packaging it is. So similarly, it is uh, uh, as equal importance in the uh, pharmaceutical packaging uh, industry also, or packaging product, how to uh, package those product and how uh, efficiently you are packaging those uh, product to protect your uh, uh, parts or, uh, or any uh, medicine or whatever product you are delivering or your customer are delivering. <clears throat> So uh, today's agenda basically industry challenges. Uh, what kind of challenges uh, uh, we found, we come up. Uh, maybe uh, some of the uh, uh, challenges uh, challenges could be missing in this uh, slide. So we can we can have a face to face discussion. Uh, if anyone uh, are interested to have face to face uh, meeting, then we can find out more challenges uh, in uh, like a specific uh, customers uh, challenges. Uh, introduction to Solidbox CAD Premium. Uh, what are the uh, major features are available inside the Solidbox CAD Premium? In Solidbox, uh, Solidbox Motion Analysis. These are two uh, examples we have taken. Solidbox CAD, Solidbox Motion Analysis. These are two tools we are going to see. Uh, we have utilized to uh, create uh, blister packaging uh, some of the parts and we have run through that motion analysis and uh, we found some uh, analysis report also that that result also okay <clears throat> so industry challenges these are uh, the common challenges uh, for <clears throat> uh, packaging industry shorter time to market that is uh, definitely it is the major challenge uh, uh, a lot of uh, customers they are asking a uh, shorter time uh, to uh, uh, market or to deliver your uh, faster uh, product to them so and uh, <clears throat> innovative pro innovative uh, product design so that is again one more uh, challenge minimize uh, cost that is the that is again one of the major challenges that uh, how to minimize cost of uh, manufacturing cost material cost or your uh, innovative uh, design designing cost uh, safety and regula uh, regulatory compliance that is again uh, the key point that these are things you have to keep in mind uh, when you are delivering your product uh, other than other than your product uh, could be rejected uh, <clears throat> in some cases. <clears throat> so roles of packaging. So if I have to talk like protection, that is the uh, one. Second, uh, presentation that we know if you are presenting your product in well manner, so that that can 
can be eye catcher of a lot of uh, customers who can ask your product okay it is uh, because of, if you are presenting in well manner so that any anyone can uh, can be attracted okay this this looks very nice right or any any packaging we are seeing even uh, whatever product insights uh, in that packaging but packaging uh, uh, should be uh, good or it should be in presentable uh, mode and those those again it is key point uh, identification that uh, uh, nowadays uh, we are seeing a lot of packaging over there so by uh, by uh, visualizing those packaging we can identify okay this uh, what what could be inside okay or uh, medicine or they are having uh, some different uh, packaging or labeling or identifications uh, they are putting over there so similarly for consumer product or any other product so they are putting that identification over there so at least we can identify what 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 could be the insight or, or in that packaging okay information that basic information we need to put in the label so those things we have to keep in mind uh, when we are uh, doing packaging uh, uh, com uh compatibility again that is uh important thing that we uh, have to keep in mind uh that 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 product or that packaging should be compatible uh in what whatever uh, mode you are using uh, uh to transport that uh, product convenience again that that uh, when when we will get that product or packaging so we uh, we should be able to <coughs> open inconveniently it is not like you you have to fight very uh, hard to open or to uh, broke that or to break that uh, whatever packaging whatever labeling you have put it over there so those convenience also that is uh, key for a customer or a user <coughs> okay so a uh, soilbox 3d cat so we have uh, we all know that uh, we have three version in soilbox standard professional and premium so you can see uh, these are major tools we have put it in this slide so mainly we are going to see soilbox premium below you know, the soilbox standard soilbox professional they are having all the capability of uh, designing or uh, 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 when we, when we have to save time then we have tool in soilbox professional where you can save a lot of time like uh, uh, by using toolbox that readily available uh, uh, fastness library directly you can uh, insert in your assembly so those things you can or you can use rendering uh, to create marketing content or document management uh, that's tdm or task the scheduler again you can save a lot of time so these are in soilbox standard professional we have all the capability where you can design your part you can save time you can uh, have this readily available uh, library inside the soilbox professional and you can utilize you can save a lot of time but in soilbox premium we have a specific uh, tool that is a static analysis of a part assembly or structure motion simulation that that we are going to see uh, one of the example over here so that capability is then solid box premium routing piping or uh, flatten surface or assembly costing or CATIA interconnect so apart from CATIA, any other CAD, uh, CAD or 3d model you can open inside the solid box standard and professional but this one specific capability is available in solid box premium only that is CATIA a uh, file if you want to open directly that file format then you need to have the solid box premium version and sustainability again this this is very a uh, very good tool but uh, it is underutilized in the industry because of uh, we we are not uh care about uh, <coughs> like uh, oh, <coughs> carbon footprint whatever product we are delivering or we are getting right so what could be the uh, uh harm in the environment uh environmental uh, condition or uh, uh, how much carbon footprint over there whatever product you are uh, throwing in the open environment so those things or uh, we, we we talk about the green product but uh, uh, we when we have to deliver or execute so uh, in that 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 is the lacking so that's why this uh, tool is underutilized uh, in in india that 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 is the thing i can say but this is very good tool is available inside the soil box premium so you can you can find out carbon footprint or uh, that uh how much percentage is going to harm or uh, even you can find out alternative material or alternative uh, product over there okay so uh mainly uh, these are uh, important tools are available inside the soil box premium <clears throat> so soil box is standard so these are like i talked about all these uh, standard features are there to create part assembly drawing or sheet metal structure or sur surfacing or mold creation animation then we have some express tool over there where you can uh, automate your design.
by using drive box you can find out uh, design for manufacturing or manufacturability uh, inside the solid box uh, express uh, tool flow express basic uh, cft analysis you can do first pass analysis we have simulation express that is part table analysis you can do in the side uh, inside the solid box uh, standard itself by using this express uh, tools and so it works professional that pdm that is a data management toolbox that readily available for you task scheduler you can automate your repetitive uh, task let's say if you have to uh, 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 print 100 drawings or uh, to convert 100 drawings to dwg or dxf so directly you can assign those tasks and you can get a uh, job done uh, behind the screen okay <clears throat> visualize the standard that is photorealistic image you can create costing e drawing professional tolerance stack up analysis and or scan to 3d reverse engineering so these are tools are available inside the solid box professional so in solid box premium like i talked in the earlier uh, 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 slide so simulation routing piping electrical advanced uh, flattening surface time based motion analysis and caddy import so these are uh, things are there inside the solid box premium uh, brief about solid box uh, licensing so there are two types of licensings are available now uh, standalone licensing that is a standalone machine or machine activation uh, 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 you you have to activate in your machine so the in particular workstation wherever you want to use this solid box license so that is one type of licensing other uh, licensing that is network licensing let's say if you are having server uh, based installation then you can choose this network license and you can uh, uh, float your license so anyone who who, who are connected with your uh, server it means client so all those clients uh, machines can access this solid box uh, license or solid box application okay. <coughs> So uh, today's our uh, main focus is uh, blister packaging machine uh, machine design. So I have taken as example uh, blister packaging. So uh, also that assembly uh, some of the uh, like designing feature or analysis uh, features. Okay. <clears throat> So this uh, blister packaging, you can see this uh, uh, information I have written over here. So I'm not going to read because of uh, many of you are aware about uh, a blister packaging. And if I have to talk about like uh, uh, in today's competitive global market, you have to uh, uh, be very competitive in the market you 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 have to reduce your design cycle time accelerate your product time to market while uh, uh, simultaneously controlling cost increasing product complexity or delivering consistently high level of quality or meeting these challenges uh, required uh, to have these kind of uh, uh, tools like sort box premium this will give you uh, uh, to create uh, faster your uh, design or innovative model or uh, product okay so this this is oh, oh, overview you can see that machine <coughs> even if if anyone are uh, interested to uh, see uh, more detail about this machine or uh, some other tools so we can have for face to face discussion so you can drop an email uh, whatever email you have received uh, for this invitation, this webinar invitation, so you can report back on the same. So we can have a uh, further discussion or a uh, more detailed discussion about any specific tool or uh, uh, any challenges you are facing or you are having. So we can uh, we can uh, find out solution. Okay. So this this is just an uh, overview of the machine. <coughs> So each and every component you are seeing over here so it's been designed by using solid box uh, 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 modeling feature creating assembly or using uh, that toolbox if you're seeing that those uh, fastness and some of the uh, are downloaded uh, model also by using 3d content center where you can download those standard components you or no need to design each and every component if you have bought out item in your assembly so it is better to download you don't have to invest your time or to design or to create those uh, bought out 
item okay and this uh, this uh, this even this uh, you can you can uh, further you can uh, uh, create more innovative uh, animation or some other uh, uh, other way any 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 other views or any other kind of animation if you want to show or so just i have uh, uh, created this basic animation or basic overview of the machine or component or uh, 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 individual uh, views but you can create in your way it is not like uh, there is no limitation to uh, create or, or whatever creativity you are having so you can use your creativity mind and you can create more interactive uh, this kind of uh, animation and you can put uh, in your website or you can uh, send to your prospect or customer okay these are the products we are going to deliver <coughs> Okay. So this is uh, SolidWorks uh, part modeling. This basic, uh, if uh, if some of you, if you are new in uh, 3D CAD, uh, if you are already using SolidWorks, then probably it would be uh, boring for you. But uh, if somebody is new, then they they can find out uh, attractive things over here, or interesting thing how to uh, create any part modeling, how to start any uh, uh, part designing in soil box environment. So it, this, is, this is just basic overview. And it means how to create a sketch or uh, putting dimension or giving thickness to uh, that specific uh, uh, sketch. You can see that uh, nice overview uh, over here, very good user interface over there. So individual uh, feature name, uh, they're, they're suggesting uh, what you can do, or even you can hover your mouse, you can find out basic information about that tool or specific feature. So just uh, uh, utilizing your existing or uh, predefined skates are there. All those shapes are there. Just you have to give your uh, dimension because of it is parametric software. So uh, you have to uh, put your parameter. But basic, uh, all these uh, shapes and sizes are available in this case uh, side. Okay. So by utilizing those skates, just uh, uh, create your skates. Uh, uh, put uh, whatever planes or surface or uh, wherever you want to put that sketch and just use those uh, uh, feature or, or uh, 3D features. Okay, so these standard features are there or advanced level features are there to create more complex design. Uh, so you can tackle any any uh, uh, complexity in your design uh, now while you are designing any product or creating assembly or creating drawing. So uh to tackle those challenges uh, we have a complete solution we have a basic to advance uh, uh level of uh, feature for part creation or assembly or uh, creating a manufacturing drawing or creating any animation or walkthrough so you can create by using all these tools uh inside the solid box uh, cat premium okay <coughs> but these features are also available in solid box standard uh, it is not like Whatever feature you are seeing, all these features are <coughs> mainly <coughs> belongs to Solidbox Premium. It is not. Only tools, whatever I have shown in the earlier slide, like simulation, motion analysis, or uh, routing piping, or uh, assembly costing. So these are tools. It is not designing feature. These are tools you can utilize. Once your design is ready, then you can go for simulation. You can create your motion analysis. You can have over there uh, routing piping uh, tools readily available over there so you can create a piping path or piping isometric design or bill of material in the piping section uh, mainly not basic things are there uh, means auto ballooning or bill of material those features are available in, 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 in inside solid box standard also it is not like belongs to a solid box premium those are basic features okay <clears throat> to create like patterns all those standard to advanced level patterns are there Create your one uh, features and you can uh, use this uh, pattern. It, you know this. This is uh, really you can save a lot of time to create a repetitive uh, task. <coughs> okay, you can choose your direction uh, wherever you want, or you can give the uh, that uh, uh, dimension or instances. You can say so. Software will give you if you if you are choosing a spacing or instant or. Even if you have some in, uh, references, so you can choose that reference also. Okay. <clears throat> so this way, you uh, I'm not going to uh, uh, take much time over here uh, to create that part modeling. So once your part is ready, then you can go for assembly creation. Okay. So you can you can choose that part uh, uh, 
into uh, assembly or to create drawing. So uh, if I have to talk about technical specification about uh, uh, machine, so this is the specification uh, a PVC base fill that is the 225 mm, aluminum foil uh, that is 221 mm, uh, 440 mm that is max a real, a real diameter or thickness it is varying with the uh, between 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 mm. Uh, max width uh, thickness you can see 0 0.02 to uh, 0 0.03 that is your aluminum thickness and max roll dia that is 210 uh, mm uh, so this is a uh, forming uh, area so that is uh, maximum or minimum minimum uh, roll dia you can see minimum and maximum uh, dimension you can see uh, pack length you can see uh, pack width you can see and uh, forming depth so these are basic uh, parameter we have and based on that we have to design and what we are expecting from this stroke per minute that is 150 strokes and size and number of packs depend on selection of uh, uh, change part uh, or what, what based on your selection that that par that output is uh, dependent uh, power requirement uh, that is 4.5 uh, kilowatt and 415 watt or three phase 50 hertz uh, ac electric supply if different uh, 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 please specify in voltage requirements so those things you can specify other. so this is basic uh, technical specification about this blister machine okay so now let's uh, move into assembly so this that each and every component we have designed and uh, we have called in the assembly uh, level we have given a required context or mates uh, to uh, uh, create a proper impact in the assembly or to animate that specific component or uh, product or if there are moving components then you have to uh, give context or mates in that uh, manner otherwise that that would be in a fixed position so you won't be able to use motion analysis so it, it is better to use those uh, 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 proper context or mates if you are uh, planning to uh, create motion simulation or motion analysis motion study okay <coughs> Okay, so this is this is that is the component we have designed in the earlier uh, section. That uh, component we can call in the assembly. We can get the <coughs> those contacts. <coughs> if there is some modification it is required, then you can go back, or even you can choose <coughs> uh, uh, those <coughs> dimension in your assembly mode also, and you can you can change uh, those dimension if you if you if you want to uh, uh, open in the part uh, environment party designing environment then you can choose that uh just uh, select over there and you can go back in the part only and you can change those parameter or any any dimension in the assembly level assembly mode also you can uh, you can select and you can change any 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 parameter it is not uh, required to go back all the time in the uh, part label or part mode uh, design okay and you can you know, just give your uh, proper context and once you are done, then you can move for <coughs> uh, your motion analysis. So this is uh, this is the parameter. Okay, uh, we have got motor speed of forty RPM revolution per minute, angular velocity that is two forty degree per second. Now uh, power consumption we found a zero point four watt, and output that is one eighty capsule strips per minute. So this is the uh, output we have got uh, by using this uh, drum. You can see. Okay. So if you want uh, more output or any other uh, uh, other output you want, you have to change your design. And again, you have to rerun the motion simulation and you can get this uh, result again. So it is trial and error based uh, uh, simulation. It is not like just you have to keep input and you will get output. It is not. You have to uh, uh, make changes in your design level and those changes you can find out uh, what would be the impact in your uh, simulation. So those things you have to recalculate. You have to, uh, 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 if something uh, uh, reassigning or any boundary condition, then you have to uh, you have to change those uh, those boundary condition as well. Okay. So this <coughs> animation you are seeing. So this how it is traveling from one end to other end. How it is contacting to other part. Uh, over there you can see that drum it is, it is uh, rotating and this strip it is going to uh, contact over there then your capsule uh, uh, will go in other way other side okay. so that result uh, if if we have modified 
uh, if we have to modify anything again you can see that this uh, this uh, modification we have done in the drum uh, section then we can see that uh, motor speed is 60 rpm revolution per minute angular velocity it is 360 degree and what output we got uh, 240 capsule strip per minute so by changing those parameters you can you can immediately you can find out uh, in the result area also so that is the power of integration so if you are using any integrated uh, platform so if you are making any changes in your design so for design or in assembly level so if you have utilized in your uh, uh, drawing or uh, if you have created or if you have run any uh, simulation motion or static or any other kind of simulation this, then those things you can you can see uh, all those changes uh, will taken uh, will be taken care by the software itself. You don't have to recreate or reassign any anything over there. Okay. <coughs> so this this is the uh, animation about that how it is going to uh, travel uh, by using this conveyor system. You can see. Okay. So that I'm not uh, going to uh, show over here uh, individual feature in the inside motion simulation. If anyone uh, interested to see uh, motion simulation detail uh, demonstration or uh, uh, all the features, then we can have face to face uh, meeting or discussion. So we can show uh, full capability or individual features, uh, feature wise demonstration. Uh, this is just overall uh, like capability about motion simulation. What uh, where you can apply in your uh, machine. Uh, if you have similar kind of machine, then you can you can relate that. Okay, uh, these things also we can simulate if we are having soil box uh, CAD preview. Okay, so <coughs> how how it is uh, <coughs> giving output? So that that only I have captured and I'm showing those things but if anyone are uh, interested to see step by step so that is also very much possible possible because because of it is time uh consuming uh it, it will uh we need to have at least one and a half hour or two hour then then we can see all these things uh step by step so that that uh that's why i put it only out to treasure or uh <coughs> final uh content so in the packaging, other testing, other type of testing, what you can do, uh, you can uh, do a drop test. You can you can find out how what kind of impact it is uh, uh, it is having when you are dropping your uh, product from some uh, height. So those things you can find out. Uh, vibration. These are possible uh, packaging uh, 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 product or testing uh, that that could be required or would be required. Uh, so drop test so that is one one other kind of simulation that that is also very much possible in soilbox but it is not included in soilbox cat premium package uh, we have a separate package uh, for simulation but these are possible testing you can you can uh, you can uh, do okay so vibration uh, test you can do uh, shock test you can do uh, inclined impact test so those things if you are putting your uh, box inclined in your uh, transport while you are transporting that part or uh, package then uh, what kind of impact would be there so those things you can find out this is the area it is going to be damaged those things you can find out our uh, revolving drum test you can find out so these are possible testing or <clears throat> uh, uh, all these kind of uh, simulation are possible inside the soil box simulation package it is not included by default in soil box cad premium uh you have to uh, take add on then these these are uh, possible uh, uh uh, kind of testing you can do apart from this also we have some other like uh, thermal uh, that if you if you are uh, having those impact then you can use uh, let's say if you are if you are uh, interested to uh, uh, see let's say uh, 50 uh, uh, degree or any other temperature uh, if you want to uh, find out those impact in your product if, if you have any 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 of the product so those kind of simulation also are included in simulation package but these are uh, I, I thought these are the possible uh, testing and while you are uh, creating any package okay. <coughs> uh, the choice of packaging material will depend on uh, these the degree of production uh, protection required uh, or what kind of protection you are looking so that is depend again uh, compatibility with your uh, doses or uh, what kind of uh, doses form you are creating that that is again uh, uh depend on this uh customer convenience like uh, uh, in earlier uh, section also i talked means uh, if i'm getting any package so 
I I should be uh, like I I should not feel okay, or I should not struggle to <coughs> open or to break that uh, package uh, to get my uh, final product. Okay, or weight of doses form also. So again, it is important uh, factor size weight uh, or filling method. Uh, what kind of uh, filling method you are going to use or to package that uh, product? So that is again, it is uh, depend on your uh, uh, choice and uh, sterilization method to be employed in uh, cost that is again an important uh, uh, aspect you have to keep in mind when you are uh, creating this uh, packaging product or material so so respond to design uh, challenges so improve your complex product design by using solidbox uh, designing feature uh, we have complete uh, assembly uh, uh, features where you can create your any any kind of assembly you can uh, create a basic to advanced level of uh, contact or mates then you can uh, uh, find out motion simulation you can create a study and you can find out impact of uh, any any component or any moving components if you are having in your assembly uh, enhanced function and performance so you can you can uh, while you are de creating design so at the same time you can find out uh, whether uh, it is going to work in a proper way or not so those things you can find out you can find out uh, uh, you can uh, meet a uh, product specification whatever specification you are getting technical specification so you can create your design you can do analysis and uh, based on that you can find out okay whether my uh, machine it is uh, uh, meeting that product specification which is asked by a uh, uh, customer or not or any regulation if you are following so those things uh, whether it is following or not uh, whether it is having uh, uh, all those parameter all those uh, constraint which is given by regulation or regulatory body so those things you have uh, to uh, find out or you can you can create you can give by using product op optimization let's say if you have some uh, thickness variation let's say 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 so that if you are having those regulatory uh, information then those things you can find out you can reduce uh, redesign uh, you don't have to recreate each and every uh, features each and every design all the time you can reuse your design or whatever you have uh, designed so if you uh, if you have bigger size or any other uh, uh, parameter uh, change are there so you can go back in your design you can create your own pack and go or you can create copy of that part and you can uh, recreate or you can just reassign change those parameter and your model will be uh, having all those changes automatically so let's say if you have if you have created uh, by using a equation based design or formula based design then if some other component or other parameters are depend on one parameters then you can change one parameter and all other changes uh, will be reflecting automatically so those things you can reduce you don't have to re recreate each and every things uh, in each and every design or each and every uh, project uh, 60 to 70 uh, a percent of product or model you can utilize uh, from previous uh, project design right first time so if you are creating design so at yeah, same time you can uh, find out uh, proper <coughs> let's say collision or interference or uh, uh, tolerance stack up analysis you can do or uh, uh, even you can find out uh, if you can simulate those things you can find out a right uh, mix of material and thickness by using soil box uh, uh, simulation and motion simulation to find out uh, a perfect size of uh, the model uh, based on your output uh, requirement okay uh, weight and shape optimization in the early problem uh, you can detect those problems you can correct in the design stage itself uh, if there are some uh, complication uh, would be in the manufacturing uh, uh, but, uh, duration those things you can optimize you can find out in the design stage itself by using uh, design for manufacturing uh, tool and you can identify if there are some problem uh, uh, would be or could be in, in uh, during the manufacturing process so those things you can avoid you can detect you can correct so uh, you your manufacturer manufacturer or production team or production uh, manager should not face any problem in the later stage avoid uh, field failure so you can uh, you can find out proper <coughs> uh, design evaluation in the design stage itself you can create a step by step those uh, <coughs> those uh, let's say if you are guiding to someone or to your uh, uh, let's say uh, service uh, engineer then 
your or if you are uh, assembling all those components in on site uh, not in your uh, in your field so if you are assembling the, those things those steps you can uh, create by using animation you can create a step by step or you can uh, create animation you can give to them so there, there should not be any uh, failure in that side also and before that you can test all those uh, uh, design study or uh, animation or you can uh, create a proper fitment of the assembly in uh, while you are creating those design before to uh, releasing any manufacturing drawing okay so those things you can avoid so it is better to test in uh, in virtually then you can you can use on site okay design you can change your design you can vary your design if you are allowed and you can <clears throat> sometime uh, why uh, i'm saying this allow word because sometime your customer it is uh, he is saying that i i'm looking only this uh, uh shape or this parameter only so you you don't have any choice to uh, alternate that design okay so uh, that that is a rare case it is not if you are designing if you are uh, delivering the machine then you are allowed to change you are allowed to uh, change material uh, that based on output requirement so main goal is to give output right so uh, greater a uh, product quality you can create by alternative uh, a shape or size or material if uh, if you if you are uh, if you have to deliver in a faster way then you can find out uh, which is the material is available in the market so you can test that material you can utilize that material you can simulate that part whether this material can sustain that much load or not then you can you can use that material right you should not uh, or you would not uh, wait uh, till that material whatever material you have utilized uh, that that would be available in the stock then you can get that material and you, you don't have to wait those things you can you can choose alternative material if it is available in the market in a faster way so you can use those things right <coughs> efficient and <coughs> reliability again so uh, <coughs> let's say if you are doing a stack up analysis or assembly of uh, worst scenario then you can rely uh whatever result you are getting in the box assembly because of it is giving you a uh, real-time feedback uh, real-time visualization <coughs> you are creating assembly you are if there are some problem interference or any collision or any uh misfit over there so software is giving those errors to you okay these are not possible or some some error occurred during the uh, uh assembly creation or drawing creation right reduce liability those things you can reduce again that by using a uh, soil box premium feature uh these, these are possible uh response you can you can find out uh against your design challenges probably this this is the uh, uh limited challenges i found uh there will be more challenges in your case so those challenges also we can discuss and we can we can have a proper solution for that we have complete solution don't worry okay i'm having some other uh, uh, apart from this i am some other challenges whether it is possible or not so we can have discussion no problem it is just i i found these are the challenges or these are design uh, design challenges are there so based on that we how to tackle or how what are the tools are available inside the soil box uh, premium version apart from premium we have add-on model also add-on solution uh, where uh, some other challenges if you're having then we can tackle those challenges by using add-on model but we have complete solution you don't have to uh, shift one window to other window or any other uh, platform you don't have to choose so uh, if I have to summarize this uh, overall about Soilbox Premium, my uh, main focus was Soilbox CAD Premium. Okay, uh, uh, so this this definitely will help you to improve your design, uh, especially for machine design because of it is having uh, uh, complete uh, Soilbox static analysis capability for part assembly and structure, and uh, we have time based motion analysis where you can find out any kinetic impact in your uh, assembly so very easily you can uh, find out or if you if you have to uh, find out any specific or uh, proper uh, output uh, so based on that output what or what should be the correct size of your uh, rotating component those sizes you can find out by using uh, kinetic physics or motion study okay <clears throat> so this so overall sweat box premium it's having uh, uh, you can say most of the things where you can do 
apart from that like in earlier section i i I showed you that uh, uh, drop test vibration. You are, if you are creating a machine assembly, or you, if you are uh, manufacturing those machine assembly, then vibration that is the like uh, you have to uh, test that that uh, that uh, test or that analysis that that I I feel okay. That is the basic of fundamental requirement for any any moving component. If you are having a new assembly, then what kind of vibration it is generating over there? So that is that is basic uh, testing. It has been uh, it should be carried out. So that that we have, but that is add-on model. But in Solidbox Premium version, it's having most of the things. Ninety percent uh, design uh, challenges you can tackle. Some advanced level of uh, challenges like vibration or drop test or any other. Uh, uh like let's say if you're having some structure if there are some uh, uh buckling analysis then buckling again that is uh we have in add-on model in sort of sim professional where we can tackle all those uh, solution advanced level of simulation but basic simulation uh most of the machine manufacturer are facing this uh static and motion analysis if they are creating any assembly and if they have to find out uh, uh perfect uh, uh, a size of uh, uh, part or material or uh, alternative material alternative design or uh, if they have to choose any motor or any uh, any uh, like rotating or moving components aside then that motion simulation it's giving all the answer right so you can you can get your design and the first time you don't have to uh, uh, create multiple prototypes for that okay you can reduce uh, those uh, multiple prototypes in one or two probably if it is required and in most of the cases it is not required but if some in some cases you need to uh, create one or two prototype and you are done instead of creating 10 or 15 times of those prototypes and then you will get your final uh, design so those things you can find out very very easily you can because of you are doing virtually so you are allowed to uh, create multiple design multiple alternative uh, materials you can utilize you can find out but then but in the real it is not possible to have multiple materials and test all those uh, prototypes right so those things you can you can tackle very easily and transition from design to manufacturing we have tool that is uh, uh, drawing tools or uh, to create your manufacturing content based on your part model or assembly so even you can <coughs> create general arrangement uh, ga drawing bill of material automatically we can find out auto ballooning or notation or any gdnt uh, 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 parameter if you have to put so all those things are available inside the soil box uh, uh, drawing uh, features so from design to manufacturing that is a smooth uh, transition uh, you don't have to uh, create individual dimension we have auto dimension feature where you can get all those automated uh, dimension whatever dimension you have uh, utilized to create that part or those times directly you can get automatically inside the drawing features okay so when well, you can reduce your uh, drafting time or you don't have to draw you don't have to uh, put manual uh, dimension those things okay and the initial stage itself you can if you are interested to find out or if you have to give a very quickly uh, quotation uh, based on your uh, 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 inquiry you're getting so you don't have to uh, create individual uh, part or assembly or any other uh, uh, configuration those things uh, you can utilize costing as uh, assembly costing and because of it is having that capability in Solidbox premium version so uh, based on your assembly you can find out uh, very quickly that estimation also so that for to create estimation or to get estimation we need to uh, put our uh, basic information about your uh, facility your material cost your labor cost machining cost based on that we are getting that estimation uh, we have a standard templates uh, but those templates are uh, uh, in uh, uh, usd or in other uh, unit system so we we have to uh, convert or we have to change in, into inr then we can get those uh, estimation automatically based on your assembly or based on your part creation again part is to depend on your uh, seat metal or fabricated part or any machining part so both kind of uh, costing can be done by using short box assembly costing or part costing right so this this is a uh, uh, overall summary about uh, solid box premium okay uh, uh, we have some other uh, uh, tool 
uh, which are add on like uh, quality control for quality control department we have so inspection that is a separate tool we have we have a composer to create any uh, guide or service or uh, maintenance manual we can uh, create okay we have uh, uh, mbd that is uh, model based definition that is paperless manufacturing we can uh, avoid this uh, uh, drafting work we don't have to uh, create or we don't have to take print out all the time uh, to manufacture that part by using that mbd we can that is paperless manufacturing so you can do each and everything in in your uh, 3d model itself all the notice and all the parameter with a uh, 3d model okay <clears throat> So some other uh, tools are there uh, for each and every uh, department. It is not uh, now restricted uh, with only design team. Uh, that uh, that was the perception. <laughs> like if, if we say salt box, then we, people think okay, that is only a designing uh, tool. Okay, but apart from that, we have uh, for technical documentation, uh, documentation creation, or to create marketing contain, or to create quality control department uh, documentation. So those things we have add-on and very quickly we can find out uh, based on your uh, 3d model okay so central of attraction that is your 3d model that is your that is your base or fundamental based on that we can we can utilize that model in multiple uh, scenarios okay normally we create we design we use uh, to create manufacturing drawing that's it but apart from that we can utilize that model for uh, uh, creating marketing content or to create uh, any uh, uh, technical documentation you don't have to wait till the manufacturing end uh, once your uh, design is approved it is uh, man uh, it is in uh, manufacturing stage simultaneously you can start uh, creating technical documentation so you don't have to wait that uh, product is getting ready or will be ready then you will start creating those technical documentation again it will take 10 to 15 days time that that is in your delivery time it is getting late, really late, right? so those things you can avoid so so that's the, that is about a uh, solid box premium uh if uh, like in earlier again i i'm repeating if you have uh, any a specific challenge or a specific tool if you're having any other uh, query then we can uh have personal uh meet we can find out uh those challenges and we can we can suggest appropriate uh, solution which is the uh, correct model uh we have uh against your challenge okay so that is there uh today's uh <coughs> webinar is all about solid box premium and that the, those premium feature what are the features you can utilize in your uh, packaging machinery for my packaging machinery so that 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 was the uh main agenda okay so i tried to uh uh incorporate some of the features some of the model uh of uh, solid box premium cat premium uh like uh, in 30 minutes and 45 minutes, it is not possible to so step by step. So just type soon those output result only. Okay, so now I'm open to uh, take your uh, question. So if you have any questions, you can type in the chat box. I can see some of the chat uh, already has been done. Okay, so I have answered, safe on. Oh, so Dave, are you there? Okay, I can see. Okay, so Dave asked about uh, more about scan to 3D. So scan to 3D basically it is uh, uh, that is scanner if you are happy or if you have is uh, if you have uh, that output is scanned model is scanned uh, result then then scanned model we can open inside solid box professional onward and we can recreate those things because of that uh, uh, that is useful if you if you don't have any legacy data if you don't have any drawings any 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 anything if you don't have any related document about that part or uh, model then you you will use this scan to 3d right if you're having any uh, a proper model then probably you will you can you can take them and then you can recreate but that is for simple or a state part Okay, if you have a complex part, so it is not possible to take manual dimension or to get more precise parameters. So it is better to use the scan uh, uh, that 
device. You can scan the model. You can take that model inside the solid box professional onboard, and you can. We have a complete uh, scan to three D features where, where you can utilize those features, and you can recreate that model later on. You can you can modify some of the things. You can use for R and D purpose also because of if you are getting base model, then you, later on you can you can choose multiple things uh, to do over there. To you you can. Uh, run analysis you can choose alternative design you can change some of the shape or some of the features and you can see those impact in your part so scan to 3d it, it is basically if you, you need to have a scanned model or if you have a scanner then you can you can scan the model those models directly we can open the inside uh, the solid box professional and premium and we can recreate those things so they have complete uh, designing features for a scanned model basically I hope I have answered. <clears throat> okay, any any other question if you have? Please type in the chat box or even you can you can contact to our marketing team uh Binaya or Nimit, both are there. You can contact directly. To them or even you can mail uh, marketing at threat so we can we can get your query <clears throat> 